Hi, welcome again to ingvid.com. I'm Adam. Today, as in response to some requests, I'm going to give you a few vocabulary words, or a few words, sorry, about political views. Now, before I start, I just want to make sure we understand this is just about English. We're not having any political discussions here. This is meant to help you read newspapers, watch TV broadcasts, listen to radio broadcasts about political news. And these are words that you will see quite often when you're reading these things or watching these programs. Okay? So we're going to look at a few common words that come up when we're talking about political views. Now, political views are basically opinions about how politics should run, how governments should run or be run, etc. So first we're going to look at the three main types of government. There are democracy, authoritarianism, and dictatorship. Democracy is a process by which several parties, okay, several parties, each one has its own leaders and its own members, and they compete for the votes of the public. You have several to choose from, the public chooses, the one that gets the most vote or wins somehow the election in their system, they lead the country for a specified period of time, and then you have another election, you can choose the government again, you can choose another government, you can do whatever you need to do. Authoritarianism is a system by which only one party, or in which, I should say, only one party controls the government. So you don't really have any choice, and the elections are not, if there are elections, are not very legitimate. There's one party, they are the controlling power, they make the decisions, everybody does what they want them to do. Ism. I'm just going to mention this. You're going to hear a lot of isms when you're reading about politics, okay? It just means you're taking the concept of whatever the word is before it. So ism is more about the concept of whatever. Dictatorship. This is a form of government where one person controls the government and has all the power, all the decision-making power. We're not going to get into the details of how each of these types of governments rules or runs the country they're in, but we're just going to talk about what they are very generally. Next, so here we're getting more into the specific views that people have. Most people are liberal or conservative. Now, you're going to hear these words a lot. In America, for example, you hear about the Democrats and the Republicans. Generally, the Democrats are liberal, the Republicans are conservative. Liberal governments or liberal politicians believe in the individual. They want every individual to have an opportunity to succeed. They want basically to help everyone improve their lives somehow. Conservatives, on the other hand, they're more about everybody takes care of themselves. Sorry, liberals, they want the government to help the individuals. Conservatives want the individuals to help themselves. And conservatives comes from the word conserve. There would be an E here. They want to keep traditions. They want to keep or maintain values. They don't like change. Liberals, on the other hand, want to change all the time to meet the needs of the people. More good for more people, as it were. Now, if you hear about left-wing or right-wing, or centrist, you're talking about the spectrum. The spectrum is basically the range of political views. You have the far left wing, you have the far right wing, and you have the people in the center. They're not really right, they're not really left. Although, they generally lean. Lean means I'm leaning to the right or I'm leaning to the left. So even centrists, they're usually center-right or center-left. means they're a little bit more to one side than the other, but generally they're, they want a bit of a mix. Left-wing politicians or left-wing views generally go with liberals. Right-wing views or right-wing politicians generally go with the idea of conservatives. Centrists want a little bit of a mix. They will go with whoever will do the best benefit for everybody. <clears throat> now, in terms of how to make changes or how to interpret laws or how to create systems, 
you have different types of people again. You have moderates who want moderate changes, want moderate governing powers, radicals and extremists. Moderate, moderate basically means they want a reasonable amount of government interference. Not too much, not too little. They want the government to take care of everybody, but also leave everybody a little bit to their own things, as, as it were. Radicals want very major change. They want big changes, they want to radical shifts, or they want what they want very strongly. Very similar to extremists. Extremists means there's only one way and that's it, nothing else will do. They do not compromise. Compromise means I'll give a little bit, you give a little bit, and we'll meet somewhere in the middle. Extremists don't compromise. It's this way or no way. Okay, that's the idea of extremist. Comes from the word extreme, as much as possible, or as little as possible, depending on the case. Now, this is an excellent word. You have spin and you have spin doctors, we call them. This is a bit of a slang expression. Spin basically means spin, like a record. You put a record and it spins. So to spin means to take, let's say, bad news and turn it around and make it sound like it's actually good. So politicians are very good at this. Good politicians are very good at spin. If I say something bad about a politician or if I uncover some history about this politician that's really bad, he or she or their, basically their advisors will take that information, they'll turn it around and use it against their opponent. And they'll make themselves look good and they'll make somebody else look bad. They will spin attention, the public's attention, away to something else or someone else. That's why they are called spin doctors. They operate on the public mind. They're professionals. Okay, so this is just an introduction to some politics. We'll do another lesson again about specific types of governance and other things that are important for talking about politics. If you want to practice these words and make sure you understand them, there are some sample sentences on the quiz on ingvid.com. You can ask questions, but please, let's make sure we understand. This is just learning English, so you can read newspapers, you can watch broadcasts. Let's not start a political discussion on the comment section, in the comment section at ingvid. One thing I will say before we, we're done here, Politics, talking about politics, is very dangerous. Make sure that the people you're discussing politics with want to discuss politics. Don't force your views on anyone. Don't let anyone force their views on you, okay? Subscribe to my YouTube channel when you get a chance and uh, come back again. See you soon. Bye.